Hi. Hi. Hello, hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Just give me a minute here. Let me just uh, put on a date today. Today is 21, 21st. <clears throat> Oh gosh. It's a Tuesday. Okay, great. So firstly, let me uh, just clean up. I think I am uh, very late, so I should probably clean up. So, breakdown from my end. Breakdown, breakdown from my end. I was uh, having the internet issues today. I had to fix it and uh, probably I had to you know, handle it much more earlier, half an hour early. I was also not feeling well. So keeping all this aside, what I'll do for the next time is, uh, even though I'm not uh, well or even though there's some technical issues, what I'll take on from my, my side is I'll honor my time and I'll make sure from the next time I'll be there well in advance like I used to do previously. I hope... Uh, I am clear from my end. I hope uh, you guys have no issues with that. Can we start off the session? Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Participants today. Okay, let me just have a check how many of them are okay. Anita, hi. Hello, sir. Uh, can, can, can all of you hear me? Hi. Hello. Yes, okay. One person says yes. Uh, um, that's Anita, is it? Yes, sir. Okay, Anita can hear me. Good enough. Arvind, can you hear? Yeah, Arvind, he's hearing. Wonderful. Hello. Okay, great. Saksham, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Saksham. Okay, great. Harish and Priya, can you also hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Awesome. That's great. That's great. Okay, so let's go ahead. Um, very quickly, I'm going to share what we're going to do today. We're going to, like I told you, this is the first week, um, the first session, week one, I'm going to make a note of it here, week one, session one, I'm sorry with my spellings, uh, well, uh, all of them know about my spellings, they're quite horrible, and Harish, please uh, bear with my spellings, sometimes if you're, if you're not able to get my spellings, don't worry, just go with the flow, listen to what I'm saying. I'm working on my spellings also. I should improve very soon. So going ahead. So week one, session one, we're going to work on our confidence. Okay. So this is what we're going to do today. Let's work on our confidence. Let's see what are the factors which put our confidence down, confidence down. What are the factors which put our confidence down? The second question is, uh, okay, let me go there. <laughs> okay, what are the question, what are the factors which put our confidence down? What can we do to um, the next question is, how do we do that? So here's what we're going to do right now. Uh, let's uh, take one minute, all of you. Just take one minute and figure out any answer for any of these questions. Firstly, see what are the factors which put our confidence down. Like we, ha we all have our confidence issues. Even me, for that matter, let me be frank with you. There are times when... I also feel quite low with my confidence. 
not that uh, i feel depressed not that i feel uh, bad or sad it is a matter with confidence so here is an example of a time when i will feel low in confidence or a bit scared okay so here here is an example why i am sharing this example with you is because i want you guys to understand the difference between um not having that great confidence or being afraid or being depressed okay a issue with confidence is definitely a bigger one so we need to identify very clearly so my anyone wants to say anything no sir yes sir no, i want to say yeah please go ahead yeah anita sir when we have no no have proper knowledge of any subject or anything then we feel lower confidence and our personality our attitude also affect the confidence if you have positive attitude then we have good confidence in ourselves but if we take a negative attitude then our confidence is always low so lack of knowledge also can con uh, can put our confidence down much okay one minute one minute one minute yeah yeah i'll come to the answer of the questions but before going that i want you to understand the difference between um going to depression and not having confidence okay okay yeah 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 is the is, i i want you to understand that so i i'll take 2 minutes here just to explain that so that we'll understand what is the difference between issues with confidence and issues with depression okay so firstly let's have that distinguished so one example that i would like to mention is my own example like i was saying i also feel low on my confidence at certain period, periods of time so here is when i'll feel a bit hesitant i'll also feel a bit nervous i also feel a bit low in confidence so i want you to understand it's okay to feel all of that like last time when we spoke some of them said the reason why i am not able to speak or the reason why i am not able to communicate in english is because i feel nervous because i feel yeah nervous hesitant low confidence i want to tell you even i feel the same even i feel the same but the point is when is it a point of nervousness hesitance and low confidence and when it is not a depressing moment is what i want to explain so here is what one example is i was going to uh, last week okay maybe 15 days before i went to tirupati i went to tirupati tirupati you, you all know it's a very famous temple yes sir okay uh, one minute all of you please mute yourself thank you sakshin please mute yourself thank you great anita yeah arvind can we have you muting yourself yeah sure one second thank you arvind thank you i'm going to have my chat box also open just in case if somebody wants to chat you feel like sharing anything personally you can always share yeah okay no chats as of now okay great so i i had been to tirupati last two weeks ago and here is what happened i was uh, tirupati is a place where there are a lot of people okay there are a lot of people coming and uh, there is an issue with people going on time to darshanam so to see the lord's uh, statue we'll have to probably stand in the queue for a long period of time and i had an issue i could not speak to any of the authorities i could not speak to any of the authorities and my father could actually do that my father could go speak i then noticed there was a sense of nervousness there was a sense of hesitance and there was a sense of low confidence and that was only for that moment and you know why it was so when i figured out i figured out when i sat down and realized why i was nervous why i was hesitant why i felt low in confidence is only because it was new for me 
it was very new for me and this is exactly how we feel for new things new things make us a bit nervous hesitant and low on our confidence now the question is you might ask me so we are not very new to english we've been speaking english for a long period of time but how do you say we are new to english now here is the conversation i'm also not new to people okay i am definitely not new to people i meet a lot of them every single day but the point is i'm meeting this particular crowd this particular situation is something new for me okay and the same for you with those people whom you are trying to communicate in english you might not have previously communicated with english uh, or in english with your bunch of friends with strangers with your teachers with your parents and there is quite a new sense of nervousness a hesitance and a lot of confidence which we can break now here is what my conversation for the first question is what are the factors for low confidence or confidence being down now you guys can all go unmute yourself oh we got eight people now that's great let me see who's the new person harish priya or oh, Ar arvind is logged into twice okay okay mm, let's see let's see okay priya yes sir yeah priya so th this is my factors for being low on confidence you guys now go ahead and answer the first question what are the factors which are which okay what are the conf uh, what are the factors which put our confidence low or down okay priya anita yeah any one of you any one of you so let even harish uh, so may i ahead. Yeah, so yeah, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Lack of knowledge of particular things. Lack of knowledge. Okay. Great. Thank you. Anything else? Anything else? Anybody wants to contribute? Harish. Give me a minute here, Harish. Can we have you talking? Yes, sir. Yeah. Go ahead, Harish. so uh, sometime what happens uh, when uh, uh, we don't have the knowledge of uh, any particular subject and we are talk, uh, and we are going to talking about that subject in the front of any other people who is good uh, who is good and uh, have the uh, good knowledge of that subject at that point of time what happens that uh, we always think that uh, uh, that uh, he he is the uh, great knowledge of that subject uh, and uh, what, uh, what if if i am wrong then what he will say this may this happen sir okay so lack of knowledge is again what you're saying yes sir if there's But, no knowledge we yes, low on confidence okay yes so fear also can oh okay fear also can be a reason okay let's say fear okay lack of knowledge fear okay okay what else arvin what do you feel about it why do we feel low on confidence arvin you there hello yeah 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 arvin i can hear yeah, you man. yeah when we are speaking with a new guy means we don't know about him uh, in that time also uh, we thinking that there's person having a more knowledge or uh, some more coming which have good communication so we are hesitating to speak uh, with them yeah we feel okay. like yeah feeling in uh, we feel it low if we see any new guy 
if we speaking in fluently mm. or we, when we are speaking is speaking fluently means we are just uh, in the at that particular time only we going to nervous uh we we might feel nervous at that point of time ah oh. yeah yeah okay okay great 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 okay mm okay thank you thank you that's interesting let's let's see or who else has to say anything yeah saksham anything that you want to share yes sir yeah please go ahead yeah yes sir uh, when we need new people and talk with talk with them then there is a lack of confident mm. confid- confidence and hesitate in in communication we don't know what uh, what they will say and uh, uh, can i can i give a proper answer to them or not then there is a lack of confidence and grow mm. expectation about the impression okay. thank you thank you okay anything else uh, any, any one last person anything else so attitude also can be reason attitude okay okay we can consider that we can consider that thank you thank you okay mm great great great, great, great. okay awesome so let let me go ahead let me go ahead now arvind would you want to share anything more yeah no no okay thank you great so he he is what it is so first thing is lack of knowledge right most of you said we might not know something and there was another thing also we might also be um considering that the other person let's say for example i am speaking to i'm speaking to mr x mr x i'm speaking to mr x and i feel mr x is wearing a coat okay he's wearing a blazer he's in formals he is wearing a really better specs than me he's got a real good calf and uh, <laughs> he is what it is so for me i feel looking at him i feel first thing he's new okay and the next thing he looks very knowledgeable and the third thing is which is a very very important thing and which we all go through within us is we all feel what if i speak to him and if he has a very bad image of mine okay so he is what is a conversation so ex- expectation about the impression that i create with mr x is another reason now lack of knowledge we can work on it i'll definitely tell you lack of knowledge we can work on it we can simply read about stuff we can get hear about stuff we can watch more videos about some content and we can get so the real fear or the real challenge is not lack of knowledge it is the expectation about the impression that we create and assuming that the other person mr x is super knowledgeable these are the way to big things which will affect our confidence so i'll tell you lack lack of knowledge i'll tell you why it is not important okay so uh, you remember uh, or imagine or don't even imagine we'll do it right now all of you unmute yourself we'll talk about a uh, black hole how many of you know about black hole yes sir do you know anything about black hole priya anita yes sir i heard but not sada no listen not much okay okay but uh, i i'll probably tell you about it we'll see if anybody else knows yeah saksham do you know anything about black hole no sir no okay well arvin do you know anything about black hole yeah same thing i heard that black hole is related mm-hmm. to some astro- i think it's related to some astronaut uh, Mm it's something related to astronauts it's something related yeah. to universe okay universe yeah uh, okay great uh, sir i heard about it but not much that uh, when <laughs> anita yes sir 
yeah very good ring tone but we don't want to listen to that okay? no, no so sorry sir actually my brother's phone is here in my in my laptop no reason so no reason we don't yeah, want to okay. let's go ahead yeah okay, go sir. for it sachin uh, then when the star break and uh-huh. then there will uh, make a black hole oh if the star breaks there is a black hole okay so good good okay anything else anything else priya do you know anything about uh, black hole no so uh, okay harish one last question to you do you know anything about the black hole no or anything we talking about it okay great no, so here is what it is guys black hole is a empty space in universe and this usually happens when the star dies that is what one theory says and some people say black hole is simply an empty space which attracts everything and constantly it keeps attracting everything even the planets suns comets uh, meteorites any particle which is there in the universe it keeps attracting and there's also one more co- no one more theory which says black holes are so huge so massive that it can even gobble or absorb a galaxy that huge it is so it's just a theory about black hole okay so now here is what it is there was a subject which you did not know you still spoke about it you said you don't know about it so lack of knowledge is never a problem but the problem is assuming that the other person that the mr x knows something really really great and building an expectation about the impression that i create what if i speak something foolish what if i speak something rubbish what if if i say something wrong now here the conversation is why will i say something foolish why will i say something wrong why will i say something uh why will i do any mistake any idea any idea also saksham yes sir why do you think i will do something foolish why do you think i'll do something rubbish why do you think i'll do something wrong because sir uh, uh if uh, if uh i give a example of uh, of my college that uh, uh, when uh, when uh, i was i was going uh, uh, to for uh, for the interview in in my seminar hall then they, uh, there were two teachers who t- who taking the interview okay and uh, uh, i was thinking about the teacher that uh, what what uh, i will say in front of him because uh, they have they they have they have a uh, very knowledge about about the subject and uh, if i if i something if, uh, if i say something uh, wrong and uh, what the impression going on going on to them correct so in my point of view Yeah, so in my point of view when yeah, you please, 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 don't, please. don't believe on yourself you have not believe that uh, i can do then you can can't do and your confidence has lost and you perform very bad and you you think that your impression is very bad because you don't believe on yourself and your knowledge okay okay i'll consider that also okay anything else anybody wants to share priya so because, so because Harish? of nervousness it can also be done when we are nervous we mm, can uh, we can say anything and we we don't want to say that but uh, from our mouth it will be speak like mm rabbi is wrong eh yes uh, what is the other word i used i forgot I, I say something rubbish. I say something wrong. I say something foolish. Okay, I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, just giving these words so that we'll figure out why we get into this. So here's the conversation, guys. I'll say something rubbish. I'll say something foolish. I'll say something wrong. 
only when i don't know about it but still want to pretend that i know about it am i making sense yes sir yes sir definitely yeah yes sir yeah. yeah so here is the conversation when you don't know something nobody will actually judge you judgment is in here it's always with me i am the one who who's judging about myself so generally we make fools of ourselves because we want to pretend and show we are knowledgeable i am good i want to look good and that is why i screw up you getting the conversation yes, yes. no maybe yeah 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 so my invitation is now go back to this point of expectation about impression here you will screw your impression only because you would want to pretend and show that you know something this happens only because you want to pretend that you know and why do you want to pretend you don't want to look rubbish you don't know you don't want to look foolish you don't want to look wrong and that's exactly what makes you look foolish rubbish and wrong when you don't know about something say you don't know about that if that is clear with your head it's amazing it's really really good because you'll not build an impression about yourself and you'll not assume that the other person also knows something more now coming to assume i think i have done this uh, before but sorry, i still sir. do this i uh, yeah sorry sir but i disagree because sir you disagree you, okay go ahead sir uh, if you on an stage and you are stand in lots of people and um, and lots of people watching you and you have give a topic which you don't know anything then you does not uh, stand like a statue you speak something if you don't have knowledge then you speak something so you then don't, don't say that i don't know about anything ah now is a conversation thank you thanks a lot thank you a lot so he is the he is the thing when you don't know about something and that topic is given to you there's two things that you can do one try speak something that you know and try tying it like uh, there's one very famous thing about engineers okay i don't know how many of you are engineers but we engineers are like this and it's a joke about engineers generally so whenever there's a description asked about uh, a tree okay let's imagine there's a description asked about a tree oh no this joke goes back okay um there there's a small boy okay there's a small boy he has prepared for his english exam and somebody told him on the english essay writing thing there is something about cow the cow topic is going to come okay so now he starts making all the notes about cow he says cow is very important in india cow gives us milk cow gives us cow dung with cow dung we'll do so much things and cow is very important cow has lot of god all of that he goes so now writes down prepares for cow essay for his english exam but you know what happens in english exam they ask about a tree now this boy doesn't know no what he'll do he'll say trees are very important in india and we tie cows to trees now he starts writing about cow cow is very important in india cow has very significance value in india cow gives us milk cow gives us something something cow gives us cow dung everything he writes about cow and ties that cow to the tree now here is what is happening okay he feels he shouldn't leave that empty and he starts writing about something that he knows and he is wasting his time and he is definitely not going to get marks for it and the same thing will happen in a public talking in a platform where you have a conversation or want to speak about anything when you don't know you can simply say i don't know and move on people are going to appreciate that but if you start tying a cow to the tree then you will make a fool of yourself make some sense yeah 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 thank you thank you thank you <laughs> great okay can we move ahead 
I, I want to speak about one very famous, uh, very uh, my favorite topic. Okay, I I actually love this topic. It's called. Uh, I'm going to make it really look larger. Okay, what does it say? Assume. Assume, right? How do we write assume? You know, we write. What is this? Assume. Ass. Ass. What is ass? Assume. Yeah. What is an ass? Ass is a donkey. Whenever you're assuming, no, you're making a donkey of you and me. You're making the other person also a donkey. You're making yourself also a donkey. Whenever we assume that is what is going to happen, especially about others or about yourselves. When you start assuming things, you make an ass out of you. You make an ass out of me. So don't assume about the other person also. First thing, don't build an impression. Don't try to build a fault, a false impression. Don't assume about the other person. Knowledge is not a matter at all. Am I making sense? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to yes. Harish now. Yeah, thank you, Priya. Thank you. Thank you, Anita. Okay, let's let's go to uh, Harish. Harish. Yes, sir. Yeah, for a long time you were so very silent. I want you to talk. Go over it, Harish. Yes, sir. Uh, was I making any sense? Were you able to follow what I was saying? Yes, sir. Were you able to follow what I was saying? Sorry, sir, your voice is not clear, sir. This why? Was it good or was it good or bad all this while? Sorry, sir, not clear, sir. Not clear again. Okay, Harish, did you did you hear me all this time? Yes, sir. Was it clear? Yes, sir. What did you understand? Can you talk back to us and tell us? Hmm. Even if it is one point, I want you to talk, Harish. Please go ahead. Yeah, Harish, everyone is muting themselves so that you can talk. Please go ahead. <laughs> Harish? Oh, Harish goes out. Maybe there is a network issue there. Okay, no problem. Yeah, remaining all of you can unmute yourselves. <laughs> we'll speak to Harish about uh, this particular thing later on. Okay, you guys can now go ahead and share one by one. What did you um, understand? It's not about what I said. It's not necessary that you need to understand everything I said. It's important you get a picture of what I'm sharing. So each one can now share what do you understand from whatever conversations we had till now. Who wants to go first? Come on, who wants to go first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, Arvind. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, over a 10 minutes, but, uh, 10 minutes back conversation. First, I know that uh, you said uh, if you don't know anything about just try that means uh, if, uh, just to listen to what I was saying, uh, the first uh, first point. Okay. And second one is uh, that one assuming. Yeah, it's the main thing I think. We are thinking assuming. We are first initially we are assuming that um, about uh, opposite side means what he. We think that he is more knowledge and uh, he can speak better than me. That assuming that uh, yeah the uh, second thing is right I think. Mm -hmm. We are assuming the we are becoming nervous in that point. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Wow. Great. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? 
Yes, sir. Go for it, Sakshan. Yeah. Oh, Harish. Yeah. Wow. Fantastic. Go for it. <laughs> yes, sir. So, um, let me tell sir what I do uh, in the at the time was assuming, sir. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. Uh, so I I simply think that uh, that uh, I know uh, everything what the uh, that person was uh, will ask, and if I don't know anything, that I just simply say no for it. Okay. Okay, I I'll agree with the second point. Okay, which is good. Firstly, don't assume that you also know more. Second thing is yeah, really okay. when you don't know, admit it. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. That will actually help you more. You 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 will not be in an embarrassing situation. You will not be in a situation where they'll make an ass of you. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's really good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Harish. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? One last person, and we'll move on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go for it. Yeah. Who wants to share? Priya or Anita? This time. So me. Okay. You can have both share. Okay. Go. No, ahead. go. Anita, we'll have Anita first, then we'll have Priya. Go for it. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. So I understand that we have a low confidence when we connect with new things. and we feel nervous about that that we don't have proper knowledge of these things and how we uh, how we speak and uh, we we are uh, just our fear about new people new things and new language for me it's a big barrier that english language for me then but i want to control this and uh, if don't think that you know everything and uh, if you don't know something about then just to say that i don't to and uh, sit and sit because uh, making lot drast think that uh, expectation about the impression is uh, bad that you make a good impression if you say something but uh, sometimes it will give a bad result to you thank you thanks a lot wow that was really sweet nice let's go to priya yeah priya Yes, sir. When we don't know about something and we pretend to know that thing, then we make ourselves rubbish, wrong or foolish. And the second second thing we talk about is assuming. We assume that the uh, other person is uh, more not uh, intelligent or knowledgeable uh, than us, and uh, we think uh, about impression. Uh, then we we. Uh, we put our confidence down and we, we are hesitating mm. thank you priya thank you great 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 awesome awesome i like that i like that i like the way you guys are moving on awesome so let's go very quickly to the next question what can we do to overcome so some of the factors we've seen and some of the factors how can we overcome our confidence issues or maybe nervousness hesitance or confidence the best thing okay take it from me the best thing to do is to say i don't know i'll tell you why i'll give you my personal example okay i'll give you my personal example so i went to one of these uh, engineering colleges in uh, in bangalore and um, i met uh, the principal the principal I do not know who the principal is, what the principal's history is. Nothing I knew. I went to this particular college. I thought he is what I did. Okay, I assumed the prince. Uh, the college is, anyways, in the rural part of India. It's in outskirts of Bangalore. It's in rural area. The principal will also not have that great knowledge. Is what I assumed. So that's the first mistake that I did. And the second mistake I did is I went to the principal and I told him that. i will teach i will teach uh, your students about how to talk how to communicate how to speak english the very next question that he asked is i want to test you i want to test you but before i test you i will give you an opportunity and test you but before i test you there i want to test you here so he said i will test your english and he told me that he is an english professor about that he has also been a um very important person 
in Indian Science History. That is IASE, Indian Institute of Science. He has played a very major role there. And his favorite subject when he was in college was English. And with all that knowledge that he had, he came and became the principal of an engineering college, which has nothing to do with whatever he studied or whatever he did. But his passion is to teach people. His passion is to run an organization. That's what has made him become a principal now. Now, here is a challenge. He comes to me and he poses a couple of grammar questions. Grammar questions. I honestly sat down and started answering. I gave it to him and he said, there are qu quite a few mistakes. There were two or three mistakes out of 10 to 15 questions that he asked. And he said, there are quite a few mistakes, but that's okay, Avin. That's completely okay. But here is what I want to understand. If you are doing mistakes, how will you be able to you know, uh, teach my students? And that is when I did one thing right. I just did one thing right. I want you guys to focus on that one thing. I said, sir, I might not be really good in English. I said, I admit I might not be really good in English grammar, but here is what I can do to your students. I told him I can help them talk confidently with anyone in any language and my spoken English is really good. So I can help them to face fearlessly anyone when it comes to English. And the third thing that I said is no matter what, sir, communication is just 20% verbal. 80% is nonverbal. I said, I'm going to teach them 80% of nonverbal communication. Now he said, hmm, good. You can come down and train our students. Now here's the conversation, guys. First thing that I did is I assumed and I learned that I shouldn't assume about anybody, no matter where he is, what he's doing. And the second thing is I learned to be precise. I learned to be having this attitude of accepting my weaknesses. Accept weakness. And the moment you accept weakness, no, you will know what strengths you know your strengths because weakness and strengths are both part of you. You accept your weakness. The moment you accept your weakness, you'll know your strength. The moment you know your strength, you know what to portray. And this is very beautifully seen. I, I should actually appreciate all the Marwadis. You know? Go to any Marwadi shop for that matter. I, I do that whenever I go for shopping. I, I uh, at least try making a choice of going to a Marwadi shop. Because every single time I go, I learn something about them. I learn something about business. I learn something about human nature. I learn something about how to communicate with people. And here's what happened. Very recently, I went to uh, my granny. And uh, when I was going to my granny, I, I figured out my granny was feeling very cold because there's, there's a lot of uh, rain here in uh, uh, Karnataka. So this part of the city, uh, there was a lot of rain and it was very cold. My granny is also old. She was feeling quite cold. So she wanted a sweater. And I had to come to a nearby town where there was a Mahavadi shop. I and my brother went there. And here is one thing that amazing happened, okay? I asked for a sweater. He showed me one. I said, is there another one? Is there another design? He gave me the same design with another color. And I asked another design, uh, Bayar, another design. He gave me another color with the same design and said, sir, design dusra hai. And I could very easily figure out it's the same. Then I asked him, Bhaiya, hey, design dusra kaisa ho? Design to same hai. He said, Bhaiya, chuke dekho bhaiya. Touch karo, feel karo. E dekho. There's complete difference. No? There's a lot of difference. And now, he also did one more amazing thing. He said, Iska jo material ka quality hai, bohat different hai. Ye material be bought different hai, ye material be bought different hai, and ye material be bought different hai. And he made me put my hands inside. My granny sweater, I'm wearing my granny sweater. He made me put my hands inside, pull out everything. He said, stitches they go away. You know, check the stitches. 
and he very clearly knew that his strength was to show the quality of the stitches he said stitches dekho aisa stitches kabhi nahi milega kahi nahi milega he showed me the quality of stitches and i said uh, i shared this couple of uh, no threads that are coming out he said i'm going to cut it out for you he cut out all the extra threads that are coming out and he said no matter how hard you wear how hard you stretch the stitches will not come out and i pulled it actually to see the stitches did not come out and he then admitted bhaiya yeah, design itna hi hai aur kuch design nahi hai itna design mein ek quality zabardast hai pure town mein dekho aisa design kahi nahi milega and this was something that i i could actually you know buy from him he very cleverly showcased his weakness that he do, doesn't have a lot of designs and he very cleverly showed his strength that there is no other quality which has such a great stitch now here is the conversation guys you have your weakness you have your strength what is important is how you showcase it how you showcase it i'll give you another example this example you know is really amazing i i love this example personally who well, my uh, mentor my guru um i i should say my uh, person who inspired me for training he was the one who shared this example so he is uh, his name is mr zane he's from scotland he's a scottish he came to india he started training here one day he just shared with me i mean you know what um, i actually met a student from engineering and i asked him for his strengths and he told me that he want he uh, his strength is to ride the bike fastly he can ride 60 km per hour or 80 km per hour or 100 km per hour and that is his strength is what he shared and you know what this question was asked in an interview and you know what i did he said i simply rejected him and said i'm sorry i'm not hiring you for a delivery job i don't want delivery boys in my company is what he said now remember that was his definitely his strength but not the place for him to showcase not the place for him to showcase that strength what is very important is you have your strength also you have your weakness also you should know where to showcase your strength or your weakness remember the second thing he said after a while we were eating chapatis I remember we were eating chapatis and eggs after a while he said i mean do you realize there's one thing that he could have done i asked him what zain he said he could have simply told sir my strength is riding the bike at 60 km per hour at any traffic situation give me a rainy day give me a sunny day give me a day filled with traffic i will reach the office on time avin if he had said that no no wonder what i would have hired him avin because I, for this particular job i want people with uh, well behaved well mannered disciplined guys who will follow my structure and if he had simply showcased his strength this way i would have you know bought him into the job is what he said i'll give you a third example another very important example a uh, example very fair you know uh, close to my heart i have a friend his name is uh, deepak we also call him das and he once came back um, you know came to me and he was sharing that uh, you know what i face a lot of trouble when i speak to hr round personal interview they ask me about my strength and weaknesses i don't know how to portray that and i simply asked about his life we talked for 5 to 10 minutes after which he went to an interview he came back from an interview and he was selected he was selected you know why one of the strengths that he noted uh, he said to the hr guy is about his personal life he said the exact thing that he said i'm going to share it with you he said i am a very good person in marketing give me anything i'll sell it for you from my childhood days he or uh, he stayed in village so you know what he did in his childhood days he used to sell mangoes he used to take these mangoes sell them for 3 4 rupees get some budgies and eat them he loved budgies he did not love mangoes he wanted budgies 
he had a mango farm even today he has a mango farm back then when he wanted budgies he simply you uh, know bought those mangoes sold them bought budgies for himself and he said i am a marketing person give me anything i'll sell it for you and that company was none other than a marketing firm they said super da- deepak we hire you and this is exactly what happened to deepak now i would, I, i want you guys to you know speak up and now share how we can overcome our low confidence issues can we all go on mute yeah arvind anything that you want to share i'm thinking thinking about it good okay no problem anita priya Yeah. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Anything that you want to share? How to overcome? No, sir. Nothing. Okay. Did you understand what I said? What I shared? Yes, sir. Okay. What are the things that? What are the two important things there? Wait. Yeah. 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 No problem. Hello, sir. Yeah. Yeah, go for it, Sachin. Uh, we should talk with new people uh, so that uh, we uh, we will know what what are what are the uh, deficiency in us uh, in communication and uh, in words, and we should we should know uh, where we where we put the right words in right place. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So you're thinking a step ahead. Good. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Hey, anybody else want to share, or shall I wrap it up? Yeah. I mean. Okay. One thing I want to so say. So let me go ahead. Yeah. Please go ahead, Arvind. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Please go ahead, Arvind. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Um, when we are speaking with some uh, anything let's go through in english only if uh, uh, if any mistake means he will know when he is doing some uh, if, if he, he, he can uh, advise no if it is wrong uh, he will he will, he will correct me if it's anything go ahead, go ahead to speak in english only means how to overcome you asking that right wow, uh, to... that's amazing got it got it got it thank you thank you wow awesome so how to overcome we can simply practice practice without fear right yeah awesome 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 thank you adding a lot of value yeah okay so here is what it is my conversation is accept your weakness showcase your strength know where to showcase what with that i'll tell you we can overcome our weaknesses and practically speaking with english here's what we can do we can practice without fear no matter what the other person is no matter what the other person thinks no matter how my impression is going to be on him keep all that aside keep all your consideration aside and simply go ahead and talk fearlessly if something goes wrong it's a space for you to learn how do we do that exactly how do we do that we do that by practicing and the second most important thing especially with this session what's going to happen is i'm going to give you the most important tool to figure out your mistake are you ready to listen to that yes how many of you want okay imagine yes, this tool is like the ak47 with the army So imagine you're all soldiers of English, okay? You want to learn, you want to defeat your weaknesses. This is like the AK-47, the most important weapon for you. If you guys know this, you guys will definitely master in spoken English. 
and if you promise that you're going to use this tool every single day i'm going to give you this tool yeah please all if you promise yeah yeah i will promise you promise thank you anybody else anita will you promise yes sir i'm promising you sir every is not clear the network problem in my area okay no problem anita just try to listen just try to yeah, listen please please you repeat i told i am giving you the most important tool the very pro you know very uh, effective tool to practice english spoken english you can practice that every single day no problem i i'll consider anita will practice that harish what about you yes sir you going to practice it yes okay sir. so i'm going to give you the most powerful tool to you uh, know learn english especially spoken english and this take it from me the most effective one it's like an ak47 if you if it's with you you can definitely you uh, know break all your enemies all your fears all your low confidences and here's what you need to do all of you go mute all of you go mute i will give you this amazing tool which will help you no matter in what situation you are no matter where you are this will help you and that tool is called whenever you speaking whenever you speaking with anybody for that matter in english simply record i'll tell you the power of this you simply record no matter where it is if the person if you don't feel like sharing that you're recording make sure your uh, your phone is you know so turned on it's in recording mode keep it in your pocket and then go simply record every single time you are talking to anybody in english and listen to it at the end of the day if you feel there is some mistake that you have done make a note of it simple record and note your mistakes this is the most powerful tool i'll tell you this is the most powerful tool if you practice it every single day i'm sure you will excel in spoken english now anything you want to share go ahead and share Yes, Akshay. Sir, we can uh, we can practice with uh, ourselves to talk in to talk in uh, English in mirror. Mirror. Okay, Sakshim. Uh, yes, I I want to ask you one more thing. Yes, if sir. you if you want to play an international cricket. Yes, sir. Would you practice playing uh, in a table te no tennis ball or would you practice playing in a leather ball? The leather ball. why international match is played in a international match is played in a leather ball right yes sir and the same way if you want to excel in spoken english you have to practice with others only because conversation happens with others not with yourself yes sir get it yes sir yeah yes sir yes okay yeah 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 you you need to know what is your goal you need to know where to practice it and how to practice it also don't hesitate don't think the other person is going to know yeah that's the thing you're hesitating because you're thinking let me learn first and then go it's like saying let me learn swimming here in the air and then go dive into the pool come on boy <laughs> we know we need to you know fall in the pool to learn english you have to go talk to real people to learn english no matter what they're going to laugh at you if they even going to say are saksham kya yaar bakre ho that's okay you know in two years from now when you uh, face a person at the interview the hr you know who is performing better yes sir yeah yes sir got 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 thank you thank you anything anybody wants to share about this particular thing about the most powerful tool no So let's go ahead. I think I have taken eight extra minutes. Really sorry for that. We'll take only two more minutes. We'll wrap up.
we'll see what we've learned today can we very quickly go ahead everyone unmute yourself let's have a two minutes of discussion and we'll wrap it up who want to go first what did we learn today i want to go for it priya thank you so firstly we talk about the factors uh, which uh, which put our confidence low then it can be nervous hesitation and uh, ex expectations uh, and 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 assuming and then we you narrate some stories about that and mm. we, we we learn so many things about that stories then we talk about how how can we do how can we overcome on that uh, uh, particular thing uh, in this uh, in this three three things you talk about that uh, uh, don't show off about what you know and uh, you should accept your weaknesses and the another thing is showcase your strength you should not uh, you should know where you should uh, show your strengths or where should not and, and the last thing we talk about is the most important tool of the of learning english is recording and uh, and the last thing we talk about is uh, we if we want to learn english we have to uh, practice it with a uh, other person not from yourself thank you awesome 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 thank you priya everybody else everybody else yeah thank you <laughs> who, who wants to share next what did you learn today what did we learn today arvind saksham harish yes, sir I, uh, i want to say please go ahead sakshi yeah so we talk uh, we talk about what are the factors uh, which put which would uh, uh, our competence down and uh, how can we do it overcome and uh, uh, you told you told us uh, three points three important points to learn english that to uh, accept weakness to case your strengths and no and know the uh, know about the words we are should we are should be used or not and uh, you told us very important point that uh, if we uh, if we communicate with uh, with other person then uh, we record we record all the all the communication and uh, find the mistake uh, in this communication and uh, if uh, and you told about that if you if you don't if you don't know about the uh, don't know about the answer that what is the answer of question that uh, then clearly say i don't know uh, don't then don't put the other words that uh, that should be rubbish wrong and foolish and not pretend not pretend to uh, ourselves uh, to know uh, to knowledge level and do not assuming not assuming that the uh, then that the other person uh, knowledgeable or not well wow, good 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 thank you i could figure out i could figure out i could sense what you were saying thank okay. you sir thank you thank you thank you okay one last person one last person is going to talk about one very important thing or one highlight that you learned today only one who's going to do it anita harish and arvind Yes, sir. Go for it, Harish. Yeah. So, um, uh, to how to come over, uh, how to overcome from uh, from the factors of uh, uh, that uh, that first that uh, we we should accept our weaknesses in front of another person uh, in place of arguing uh, on that question and uh, always to um, always to show uh, show your strength and uh, at the right place and. Uh, and uh, always talk to the new friends uh, uh, always talk to the new friend in a group or or create a create an atmosphere uh, where you can talk and all uh, all 
always record your uh, while talking uh, so you can uh, find your mistake within that mm thank you thank you awesome great so here is what it is guys i'm going to wind the session for tomorrow i want you guys to remember this i have a story to share a very very powerful story and this story uh, says about no where to show what no where to show what it's about a snake a mongoose and a lady snake mongoose and a lady it's a story about where to show what if you guys remember this and if you guys ask me back tomorrow i'm going to tell you the story very very powerful you'll know how what is strength you'll know what is weakness and beyond that you'll know where to show your strength and where to show your weakness and why it is important the place where why is it important we're going to learn about that thank you and i think i'm complete any questions or anything that anybody wants to share before we say bye no sir nothing priya thank you no sir so i want to say something is there is any homework for us ah oh, good question thank you okay so the homework for you is to record and note your mistakes the most important tool no matter where you are is it a it's a holiday it's not a holiday if you do it every single day if you use this tool every single day by 15th day you'll see a massive difference you'll see a massive difference you'll have taken a huge jump from one place to another place Okay. Thank you. Sir. Great. Thank you then. So Thank no you, more sir. questions. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We'll sign off. See you tomorrow, sharp eight o'clock. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye. <laughs> bye, sir. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Amit. Thank you.